Cataract formation is a very fascinating part of uh, human physiology. It's very much misconstrued as to what a cataract is. In many parts of the world, uh, a lot of people lose their vision because of a cataract and think that they could just regain vision if they had some glasses. Unfortunately, the cataract is a lens inside the eye which becomes yellow and hard and makes it very difficult to see. As a result, surgery is often needed to remove the lens. What happens is that the lens epithelial cells inside the eye become yellow and brown due to oxidative damage from the sun, from daily life, which leads to this brown appearance of the lens, making it very difficult to see. In addition, as the cataract progresses, it can actually become like scar tissue, forming a white capsule around the lens itself. Hi, I'm Adam Chun, resident ophthalmologist from South Carolina. Here on my first Orbis mission, acting as associate ophthalmologist here in Iloilo, Philippines. On our first week here in Iloilo, Philippines, we had a chance to have a screening day at Western Visayas Medical Center. And I had the opportunity to work with Dr. Shoba Karamala from LV Prasad. During our first cataract clinic, we had the opportunity to meet Verlina de la Cruz, who's a 61-year-old bilaterally blind cataract patient who came in clutching the arms of her husband. Dr. Shoba and the rest of his team decided uh, to make this patient the first teaching case for manual small incision cataract surgery on the Flying Eye Hospital. Dr. Shoba came to Iloilo, Philippines to teach manual small incision cataract surgery because of the very cost-effective nature of the surgery itself. In manual small incision cataract surgery, a incision is made in the superior portion of the eye and the entire lens is taken out in its entirety. The wound in and of itself that's created is self-sealing, requiring no sutures. The patient is typically able to function very well after the surgery and typically has good recovery. On the first post-operative visit, when we removed the bandages, Berlina was quite surprised at the level of vision that she was able to regain. She was seeing at least the 2100 line on that first day. The surprising thing with her, she still kept her old habits of clutching her husband's arm as she was walking out, despite the fact that she can now see. 